you're welcome to my channel in this video we will want to draw an ellipse having axis of 120 millimeter and 80 millimeter by the auxiliary circle method now we know very well that an ellipse is a plane figure that is bounded by curves which is called the circumference right so the first thing you do is you take your t square and you draw an horizontal line this way at least this way you can see that and you take your first square or your ruler and you're going to draw a line that will pass through the center this way you can see that now what we can see here we are meeting at this point at the center point here now the question says that the it has axis of what 120 millimeter and 80 millimeter the bigger dimension there is for the bigger circle when you talk about concentric auxiliary method you're talking about circles right so i'm going to measure half of 120 on my meter rule the measure half of 120 0 to 60 is half of 120 right and i'll place it at that center here and i'm going to draw a circle so the circle will be faint line you can see that now the next thing is the smaller circle the smaller diameter is going to be 80 millimeter right so i'm going to measure half of 80 which is 40. this is what we have here and i'll place it at the center also i'm going to draw another circle now the bigger circle is called the major circle so i'll call it to be a to what to b the major circle has what is called the major axis. Then, why the smaller circle here we call C to D? So, the smaller circle has what is called what? The smaller, that is the minor axis. Right? The minor circle it has what we call the minor axis. Now, the next thing is for we to divide this circle into 12. There are many ways you can divide the circle, but I'll show you one of the easiest ways to do that. You just take your compass, place it at point B to the center here. You can see that. Take the word at the center here, and you mark up at one side. You move it to point A at the other side, and you mark another up here at the top here, and um, you place it at this point here, the topmost circle, and you mark left and what and right. So this is what we actually have. And you take your compass to each of those points. This is one of the points here. To the through the center, you draw a line. I'll touch the other side right you come again through the center from this point draw a down line I'll pass to the center to choose the other point you can see that you come to this point also through the center right you draw a down line to pass to that point too then to this point also through the center draw another line to pass at this point too you can see that 
now we've gotten we've divided them into what into 12. now the next thing you do is you might take your rule right and you're going to target these two points that will call it the point where this line the division line meets the minor axis you're going to draw a horizontal line just like this so i'll place it in this two point this way and i'll draw a line outward not touching the major circumference i'll draw another line outward not touching the major circumference i'll go to the next point also between this point and this point i'll do the same thing right i'll go to the next one also between this point and this point I'll do the same thing. I'll do the next point also. Between this point and this point. I'll do the same thing. You can see that? That is where the circle, that division line, touches the major circle. You draw a horizontal line outward. We don't allow the line to touch the bigger circle. Now, similarly, I'll go to where the division line touches the outer circle. This division line. Now it touches it here and here. Now you follow that this figure is symmetrical. Whatever is in the left hand side is equal to whatever in the right hand side. Whatever is above is equal to whatever is what below. So if I should target this point and this point, right? They are mirror image of each other. Then I'm going to draw, you see that, as if I want to draw a straight line, I'm going to draw my line to close up this in order to form a right angle triangle and to close up this in order to form what? A right angle triangle. You see that it's forming a right angle here. So that point where they meet will be my point. I'll call it point one and point one. You don't have to write that. I'm just showing you. Then I'll go to the next one also. I'll do the same thing. Where it touches the major circle, both up and down, right? I'll draw my line this way to touch here to form a right angle, and I'll draw it this way to form a right angle. Now, look at where they're meeting. I'll call it point two, and what? Point two. Then Point D is automatically a point two. This point D and point E is another point. You can see that. Then I'll go to the next one also. I'll target here and here to form a straight line. I'll do the same thing. Draw my line to close up is another point. I'll draw my line also here to close up is another point. So they're meeting here and here. Right? That will be three and three. And I'll come to the next one here. Target this point and this point here to form a straight line. I will close it up. And also close it up to form a right angle with the horizontal line. And this is what we have here. So this will be four and four. Right? Four and four. Then A and B, A and B, right? Then another point two. So what I'll do is I'll cut another point I need. Then the next thing I'm going to do, let me enlarge it a little bit. You can see that is to draw my ellip ellipse there, the shape. I'll be using my French curve to do that. And I'll be teaching you how to use the French curve. Now, what will you do? Place your French curve. Your aim should be at point A and B, right? This is my point A and B. Then you're going to move your French curve such that it is going to take more than one point. How do I mean? I'm targeting A and B. That should be your reference point. So I'll continue moving it. It should be on A and B. I'll be moving it until it gets at least, if not all, almost all. 
So this is where I am from here to here. I'm gonna draw my arc this way. You can see that I got that, and I'm going to turn this this way also to face the other side. The same thing, I'll target A and C, A and C, and I'll move it until I get what I'm actually looking for. This is A and C here. Right, so I'll move. Now we have the. You can see that? Then with the same thing, I'll not turn it the other way around. I'll target D and E on this point. Right, and I'll be moving it until I'm able to get like um can see that? So I'll move. Can see that? And the next one is I'll not turn it the other way around this way. I mean target D and B. D and B. Now we're moving it until at least okay, this is already there. Now move this. You can see that? So this is my elliptical shape. So this is the curve that is bounded in. So this method we have just done is called uh, concentric or auxiliary method. So uh, sometimes you might be told to draw a tangent, right, to the ellipse. You draw what? A tangent. If you are not told, you leave it this way. But when you are told to draw a tangent and a normal, this is what you are going to do. I'm just I'm going to take my compass, my rule. I'll pick any of these points, maybe this point, this point, any point of your choice. Right? Before then, I'm going to take my compass, I'll place it at points A to the center, right? And I'll come to C. Then I'm going to draw an arc this way that will cut the horizontal line. So whether I cut the horizontal line, I'll call that point F1 and I'll call this point F2. That will be the focus. Then I'll pick any of these points here. Let me say I'm taking two. I will connect it with what? With F1 this way. You can see that? Then I'll come to F2, connect it to that point also. I'll turn it this way. Now, if we look at this, is how they are meeting here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to bisect that angle. Where is the angle? The angle between this line and this line. And I'll place my compass at that point where they meet. This way. And I'm going to bisect it by drawing an angle this way. You can see that? Where the angle meet, if I like, I can extend it. Where it meets here, I'll place it here, and I'll strike an arc. Where it meets here, and I'll place it here, I'll strike another arc. You can see that? So where they meet, I will draw a line that will pass through that point. You can see that? And I'll draw a line this way. So from here, I'm going to thicken it. Is what we have. So this is the normal. Then yeah, the tangent we perpendicular to that point. How will I do that? Now watch and see. I may pick four. I will allow four. Or let me say zero to this zero line to be on the same line as this. I'll move it. Now you can see the zero is already there. You can see that the zero is now corresponding with the line I have in. Then I will draw the line this way. So that line you see is what we call the normal. So this will be 
the normal right and this will be the tangent that is when you are told if you are told to do that you have to draw normal and uh, tangent to a point on an ellipse so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thanks for watching